All right, hey, what's up guys? It's Roy here. And with today's video, I'm gonna be doing a review of the OtterBox Stratus Series case for my Samsung Galaxy S21. So the Stratus Series case is a one color only case. It comes in shadow black, which is what you see here in front of you. Now this case is gonna range anywhere from around 46 to 50 bucks roughly on Amazon. So if you get it for your S21 or the Plus or the Ultra, I'm going to link all of my affiliate links down in the description. So do check those out if you wanna buy this case after you see this video. And I do highly encourage you to click those links and purchase pretty much anything you want on Amazon. If you wanna buy the case, great. If you wanna buy another OtterBox case, great. But whatever you do buy after clicking that link, does support me and my family because I do earn a small commission from that. So thank you in advance. Now this case was sent to me free of charge from OtterBox for my unbiased opinion and review. So let's go ahead and dive into the box itself. So if you've bought an OtterBox case, um, this is pretty much the standard packaging that you're getting with an OtterBox case. So you have the exposed opening here where you can touch and fill the case. Got the OtterBox logo here, Strata series. It is drop plus three times tested to military standard, so you're getting some fantastic drop protection out of this case. Uh, it is made with some premium materials that's not going to interfere with your 5G compatibility. Uh, it is made of genuine leather, and it is a card holder style case, so it's a folio style case, which we'll obviously dive into a little more. And of course, their give back program and all that. And then when you go to the back, it's kind of, once again, just another breakdown of some of the stuff at the top or at the front, I should say. Uh, so you got the three times standard, uh, folio screen cover, pocket friendly design, magnetic latch and accessible volume control. And then of course, I always kind of put that here for their give back program if you care about that stuff. And it does have a limited lifetime warranty right there. So let's go ahead and slide it out and get the case out of the box. So as far as the unboxing, that was pretty simple. There it is. So it's a uh, folio style case, as you can see here, but the front and the back is made of this really nice, genuine leather, this premium leather. It's very soft to the touch, feels very good in the hands. Got a OtterBox logo there, so you can see it's kind of just like a metal shiny OtterBox logo. You can see like the really fine stitching here with it being a leather case. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and take a peek inside here. So when you open it up, you can see that obviously it flips open. You have some slots here for some credit cards or if you wanna put some cash in there, whatever. Uh, as far as the interior goes, you have this really nice pattern and this really good just filling material here that's gonna be going up against your phone. So it's definitely gonna help with absorbing um, any impacts when you drop it. Now, as far as kind of checking out the borders, you can see, you know, it's got those reinforced borders all around and in the corners. So that once again, is just impact goodness right there to help. And then it is a little bit different here on the side because this is kind of where it hinges, but you can see here, like I said, you can see those little lines in there on the, on the sides, but then it's more of a flat um, surface here on this side. So let's go ahead and slap in my S21 real quick and see what it looks like. Okay, so there's the phone installed in the case. So let's take a peek at the back first. So as you can see here, you do have a pretty nice little raised lip around the camera bump. So that's gonna help with lens protection and all that. They did go with this design here with the bigger, chunkier cutout, like their symmetry case, um, but I don't hate it. I know some people don't love it because they would prefer more of a slimmer cut around the actual camera bump and a semicircle or a square cut out or something like that around the flash, but is what it is. Doesn't look bad at all in my opinion. Um, but like I said, it's this really nice premium leather material. You can see the stitch pattern all around it. So it's definitely just screams premium. And like I said, that bump is definitely protecting those camera lenses. So when you do put it back down on any surface, it is actually completely flat. So there is no shake or wobble at all. So like I said, you can see it's a complete flat back right here. Now going around the case itself. So on this side where it hinges, you can see that this uh, leather material wraps around the whole entire back and the front of the case. So that's kind of the way it looks there. Going down to the bottom here, you do have a 
nice precise cutout for your USB uh, type C port and your mic and your speaker grill. And then going around to the side here, you do have your volume up and down button and your power button. And they are raised up a little bit, so they're very easily um, accessible with one hand when you're looking for them. So I like that a lot. And then going around to the top, you do have one single cutout for the mics up top. And kind of talking about the sides here, it's kind of this matte finish material that does feel pretty grippy. So definitely feels pretty good. Now that leather on this side feels really good and grippy. This side feels really good and grippy, so no complaints. And then let's go ahead and take a peek once again at the front of this case. So like I said, it is a folio style case, which this is gonna be protecting the front of the phone. Now this is a magnetic port, uh, part here. So once you close it, it does stay shut. Um, but like I said, you can see that leather material all on the front. You do see here that it does have a cutout there for your um, earpiece there. So if you are someone that likes to talk on the phone, but not have it folded all the way back, you can still do that because you do have access to the earpiece there. And then, like I said, you can kind of see once again, that stitching all throughout the front of the phone. So it looks very premium, looks very, very good. So let's go ahead and open it up now and let's go ahead and take a peek at the inside. So as far as the inside goes, you can kind of see where that hinge is. So definitely easily opens and closes, um, but the whole entire phone is covered with the case. So it's not like just part of it and then this is cut. It's completely 360 covered there. So that is nice. Now, the cool thing about this case, like I said, is gonna be the ability to have credit cards and cash in here and all that good stuff. Uh, it is a very nice soft touch uh, material here that's gonna be going up against your phone. So it's not gonna uh, affect your screen when you're closing it and you know, with scratches or anything like that. And the nice thing about the uh, metal clasp here that's magnetic is you can fold it all the way open and it gives you a very satisfying click when it does close on the back. So then if you wanna use the phone like this, you can and have complete access to your screen and everything like that. Now to talk about the front, you do have, like I said, some raised lips all around the front of the phone. You do see here that it does have that little uh, portion cut open there, but that's where that kind of clasp is. And then that's where you can kind of get that easier access to opening the folio case. But like I said, you do have uh, complete bumpers all around the front of the screen to protect it. And then of course you do have that single cut out there once again for the earpiece that you're gonna be able to uh, uh, get no interference or anything like that when you're wanting to use the actual phone. So all in all, looks pretty dang good. Now let's go ahead and do some card and cash test. So I have a couple of cards here. So just like a return merchandise card from Academy. Got my top golf card here. So I'm just gonna kind of see if I can fit two in this single slot. I, I don't know if I would be able to, but let's see. Yeah, yeah, you can. So you can fit two cards in there. And then I got some cash here. So let's see, let's go ahead and just kind of fold it up here like I would and just kind of put it in here. Now with having those two cards in there, it might make it a little more difficult to slide some money in here, but let's go ahead and do so. All right, so there you go. So I have two cards and two $20 bills in here. And as you can see here, it completely closes, so it's not affecting it. Uh, I would probably recommend only putting one card in here or two cards if you do just the card here and card here. But if you're gonna put cash in here, uh, I don't know if you'd be able to get away with putting more than, you know, a couple of like tens or twenties or something like that in there. If you're going to try to stick like $21 bills in there, it's going to mess it up because then you're not going to be able to close it all the way. It's just not going to latch like it's supposed to. But right now it does technically close, but it's not all the way like it should. Because as you can see there, I can kind of do that and it will open. But if I go ahead and take the cash out, then does. So definitely that um, magnetic connection is working, 
but like I said, it just kind of really depends on how many cards or how much cash you're trying to cram in there. Um, so let's go ahead and do my clicky button test real quick. Let's see, let's see how responsive these buttons are. So let's start with the power button first. And volume up and down. So very clicky, so it passes my clicky button test with flying colors. Now let's go ahead and do the Qi wireless charging compatibility. So let me grab my Qi wireless charger here and slap it on. And instantly it does recognize that it is on a Qi wireless charger. So as you can see here, it is wirelessly charging. So definitely works. Now one thing I am curious is to see if I had it like this, if it would somehow wirelessly charge through it and it won't. So if, well, I take that back, it will. So if you do want to have this opened up like this so you can see your screen, uh, technically it will wirelessly charge it. But like I said, for whatever reason, it works sometimes and it doesn't. Um, I don't think that's, uh, a design flaw. I think it's just obviously it's giving you some extra layers here that this wireless charger is having to work through. Um, but it is, like I said, fast wireless charging with the folio case opened up and folded over like that. So, you know, if you care to know that, then that's a positive thing. But this is a really good case. Like, I'm not a big fan of folio cases normally, but this feels so premium like i i don't know like i really like this case but like i said i normally don't like these types of cases but i could totally see myself using this case if i was going on a jog or something like that and didn't want to carry my wallet and just put like my debit card in here and my driver's license or something like that in here or just a few bucks if i wanted to stop you know like at a gas station while i was on the run or whatever it is fairly slim now, obviously take that with a grain of salt. It's not like super, super slim like this case, as you can see. But for the most part though, being what it is, it is actually fairly slim. And with this material, it's very easily um, able to get in and out of your pockets. So it's very uh, smooth transition out of your pocket. Uh, it just looks really, really good. Um, so yeah, I have no complaints at all with this case. So if you are someone that likes a wallet style case, want something that's premium, real leather, feels dang good in the hand, uh, has these really nice satisfying clicks with that magnet, then I would definitely recommend checking out this Strata series case from Otterbox. So hit that like button guys if you liked the video. If you loved it, obviously I'd love a sub and ring that notification bell for up to date content. But uh, yeah, be safe out there and we will see you on the next one.